All right, so I'm starting off in kind of this back alley over here. And uh, in the background, you see the Transamerica building. It's really iconic. It's one of the first things you will see in SF. Uh, this building actually used to be the tallest building in San Francisco. Uh, and then they built Salesforce. Um, so I think currently that is a, the next biggest building. The cool thing about SF guys, especially downtown, the financial district, and just the different districts and neighborhoods, there's so many different looks and spots. The architecture changes um, from one side of the city to the other side. And, you know, this is just one part of the city that we're exploring today um, around this area. And you guys will see uh, you're going to get shots of the bay, the bay bridge, and um, ferry building that's really iconic embarcadero which is like a a huge walkway and route along the bay of um san francisco the port <clears throat> i'm gonna be uh sipping some water throughout this normally i'd get a lot closer but again i didn't want to intrude on nobody um this is a nice shot here i really like this I like those candid type of moments. <clears throat> you gotta get the tour bus, you know? Know what I mean? And the tour buses here are kind of cool because they kind of resemble like a cable car. If you guys ever been to San Francisco or you're from out here, um, I definitely got some cable car shots in this video. So, you know, stay tuned for that. There's a nice uh, piece of architecture over there. Kind of like that Roman, Roman style architecture. Really love the, that column type type of vibe going on. And guys, I'm shooting again on the 24 to 70 GM Mark II, and I feel like 24 millimeters. Uh, does the job for getting uh, landscape, architecture, buildings wide enough. And if it's not wide enough, just take a few steps back. As you can see, um, I definitely got my steps in in this video. So steps done for the day. Again, nice, nice shot of the Transamerica. And you can see that building like throughout many spots in the city. But again, this is the first time that I'm really out here in the streets, guys. You know, if you want to be a street photogra photographer, you got to be you got to be out there. You got to be in the streets, hustling, moving around, um, putting yourself out there. And this is uh, something I've been wanting to do for such a long time. My last street photography uh, video, I was in Chinatown, which I felt was a little, a bit more safe, but out here, um, this is kind of a touristy area as well. And there's been a lot of known theft and in this area, but thankfully I, I kind of went somewhat early. So I may have dodged all the sketchiness or it was just a, a, a lucky day to shoot. This is a shot over here of that building you, you'll see. I think that's called uh, wow. the Columbus Tower. That green building in the in the corner. Cool bus, by the way. <clears throat> and uh, I was moving around for about an hour. Um, before I edited this video, I managed to trim it down to 30 minutes just to, um, you know, keep it from lagging and keep, uh, kind of keep the pace going for you guys. But, uh, over my overall time out here today, I was moving around for about an hour and I was able to get a, a large amount of shots, wow, what a beautiful shot. but like always you, you end up taking 200 shots, maybe 50. 25 100 if you're lucky will be good i love this one it's just um the scale of downtown sf the scale of the buildings is um really awe awe-inspiring and 
and um it's really a you know just like a astonishing sight when you see it in person like pov it doesn't do the scale of the buildings much justice but me photographing them i hope to you know ca kind of capture the the glory and the essence in the photos san francisco architecture just the buildings that were built you know hundreds of years ago uh, are so just so like timeless you know i love it And for all you historians out there, you know, I said hundreds of years ago, you know what I mean by that, right? I'm not trying to, like, I don't know the actual uh, time period when, when the building was built, but I'm sure it was, it's been around for a long time because it, it's an icon, uh, it's an iconic building in the city. Over here, I'm just playing around with, uh, like, reflections through the glass. I thought this was like a nice natural frame over here, a frame within a frame. And in the photo, when I edited in Lightroom, I just cropped in anyways. Uh, that's the beauty of Lightroom and that's the beauty of having a sensor with 33 megapixels like the A7C2. Uh, because if you do crop in post, you still retain uh, a lot of resolution in megapixels. So it won't get all grainy on you. Even if you did have like a 24 megapixel sensor, the editing capabilities in Lightroom nowadays are just like so good that you can just erase almost all noise. A lot of people were staring at me. I mean, you don't really see many people out there all the time with, with people having a chest mount with a GoPro or iPhone on their chest and, you know, a long lens just walking down the street. This shot's nice. I just... Candid shots like this, people having conversation, showing emotion, connection. And the fact that there was food around, it just, it brings everything together. I love those type type of shots. <laughs> you got to be quick, man. I mean, he had he had that sense, but I had to just, you know, bop, real quick. Run and gun from, from the hip, shoot from the hip, and, um, you know, get, get the shot. I, I wish that guy would have stood more in the middle, though. But in street photography, there are so many things you cannot control. What you can control is how you compose the, the shot, you know, with the, the images you're given, with the scenery you're given. Mm. I just ate breakfast, guys. I'm sorry. My voice sounds horrible. I'm also just getting over a cold, bad cold, like strep. Um, if you're wondering what POV is shot on, it's just my iPhone 12 Pro, guys. 12 Pro, it's still, still a great uh, camera, in-body camera. I'm shooting 4K, 30 frames per second. And I just threw on a um, simple LUT just for the color grade. I didn't go all the way 100% on the LUT. I think I dialed it back to uh, 75%. Cool shot. So this must be, excuse me if I'm wrong. I, this might be California Street. If you go all the way to the top of that hill, and you look down, you can get a, sh and if the timing is right, you can get a shot of a cable car 
and the bridge and some awesome buildings in the back with buildings along the sides to kind of um you know frame in so i i got that on my last uh street photography video in chinatown because i was all the way up there anyways i'll leave, leave a link to that in the the, the description if you guys want to watch that <clears throat> Now, I'm not going to lie, um, I love shooting street, like city and urban settings a lot more than nature, or wildlife, just because I feel like there are more straight lines. There's more uh, symmetry and geometry that you can use as frames or leading lines in the city and just the architecture itself. I love nature. I love wildlife. But I'm not around much areas where they have a lot of like, you know, native wildlife that you can capture. And there's just like parks, maybe Golden Gate Park, stuff like that. Um, it's cool and all. Cool place to kick it and hang out. But the city, that's where it's at. And SF, SF guys is a gold mine for street photography. And honestly, I don't see too many people doing uh street photography povs in sf so i hope to be one of those breakout people that are known for being out there on the streets um you know catch me catch me out there you can follow me on instagram at jj visuals and subscribe to me here on youtube this is just a start this is just the beginning I'm gonna be doing a lot more pov guys for you um yeah and feel free to comment down below if you have any suggestions if you would rather not hear me talk at all because i can do that <laughs> um i just wanted to try something a different format because i've done quite a few pov videos on this channel and um i i haven't really narrated or commentated on any of them so i'm just trying a different format for this video so over here, this is the Embarcadero Center. Um, this is a a gem to me. It's a it's a hidden gem. Like it's more of like a workplace area, I'd say. Mainly working professionals are really in this building. So the cool thing was that I was able to get higher ground in uh, different views of the city. Um, which was awesome. I haven't been to this part in a long time. They have a movie theater in here too, uh, as long as a lot of other businesses. <clears throat> yeah, that cold coffee is doing its job or getting the job done. Yeah, that guy over there, he kind of gave me some flack, um, but I left that out of the camera. He was like, hey, man, I don't want to be in your your video thing. I was like, I'm taking pictures of the buildings, bro. And that was kind of the end of it. But, uh, you know, in SF, out on the streets, leave your ego behind and, you know, just just think about the safest route. No place for your ego to be. You know, if someone wants to be respected with their space, respect their space and privacy. <clears throat> you know, aside from street photography, the city is just, it's so vibrant and bustling. Back in the 2020, it used to be almost like a ghost town because everyone is working from home. A lot of people still are not back in office in these buildings here. A lot of vacancies, a lot of, uh, you know, open leases, available leases. But I think slowly the city's going to come back. People have different views on that, different opinions. But... You know, things go up, things go down, and, you know, as long as the, the right people are, are in office, which can be another conversation in and of itself, um, 
you know that 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 dictates uh, a lot on how the the future what is going to turn out him? but you know just do you focus on on what you guys are doing at the end of the day because again just like the photography there's so many things you can't control in life itself just just focus on the things that are within your grasp and make the best with what you got it would have been nice maybe getting a telephoto lens one day to really zoom in on like to punch I'm in with that compression a, on on those cars and buildings millimeters. but you know i have no i have no complaints with the 24 to 70 um i didn't feel at all like uh i was limited mm. excuse me yeah i didn't feel at all i was like held back in any shots like i needed more reach or i needed it to be a little wider uh, it really is a jack of all trades and it is the one lens that can do it all. It's clinical. It's like the workhorse um, f2.8 guys. So great for low light and background separation. This that shot could have been a lot better. Uh, I was trying to focus on the buildings with having those um, leaves in the foreground but you couldn't you could barely see the building uh it is what it is you know i'm just gonna put it out there um but let you know my intention my intention was to kind of frame that building with the leaves while still getting it blurry in the foreground it didn't come out horrible i'd say i thought it was it was pretty cool i like the colors the red leaves and if you guys kind of are digging this kind of moody preset this color grade this is my own preset that i've made in lightroom um i'm hoping to build some more presets and hopefully put that out for you guys for purchase one day but i'm still working on it i only have one i only have two presets that i use and that i actually have and i use the preset for all these photos to varying degrees of intensity so i would dial some photos back to 50 percent some are at 100 percent with the preset and even with the preset for some photos i would uh tweak the uh settings as well just to make fine fine adjustments and fine tuning <clears throat> my my wife really likes this shot over here spiraling down it's, it's pretty cool in the distance you will see the ferry building and behind that is ac the actual bay bridge um so from here we're actually going to be going all the way down the embarcadero center it's going to lead you all the way to the ferry building <clears throat> there's salesforce in the background but 75% is covered by another building. I would like to one day go to a different spot where I can get the full view of Salesforce. So definitely in another video. Wow, guys, this is absolutely incredible. If you guys can see this in, in real life, it's, it's way better. All right, I kind of just skipped ahead a little bit, but we have just exited out of the ferry building. I mean, the Embarcadero Center, and we're making our way towards ferry building. And there is like a BART station over here, I believe. And so there's a lot of foot traffic, people coming to work, going home, traveling, tourists. And, you know, it was nice to see all these people in the city. Um, I didn't really see, see too many um, open drug use or, you know, as some might say, like feces all over the streets of SF. It was clean, actually. So 
you know, if you guys are trying to do more photography in downtown, always be careful. But I think uh, just, you know, pick where you go. Time of day is really important. I think early morning, early afternoon, you're going to have the best experiences. Here we are, Port of SF, Embarcadero, Ferry Building. And they had a farmer's market here today. Wish I could have, um, you know, tried some of the, the goodies, but I was on a mission, man on mission, you know, out there, out on the streets, trying to make something happen. And like, this is a cool shot, but I didn't want to stand in everybody's way. Like I said, I didn't want to really stand directly in the middle, uh, just because, you know, people had places to be. And I didn't want to be that one dude who was uh, in the way. Battery life held up well. Again, I, I never had to change ba batteries. Um, I arrived at the site with like 80% and I didn't turn my camera off not once. Camera was always on over an hour. Battery life held up uh, superb. You see so many uh, personalities in SF, you got that you know workplace um tech vibe you got you know like a street vibe hippie vibe um people from all walks of life it's so diverse here people people from all sorts of backgrounds um which is why san francisco what it which is what san francisco is really known for it's just like a melting pot of cultures and it's a great place to be at the end of the day as long as everybody uh, is on, on the same page, um, that tends to be the hardest part, just getting everybody, everybody from different walks of life on the same page, but everybody at the end of the day just means well. They're just trying to make ends meet uh, and do well from the, for themselves. So it's, it's really how you look at the city and, um, you know, just I'd rather have a, glasses half full mindset then half empty so you know to each their own though i love that shot um we're inside the ferry building in here they got a ton of shops um ton of uh boutique eateries bakeries small cafes um and it's right by the bay guys so we're gonna we're gonna walk through here and um Get out by the bay, get some shots of the bridge and the water. At the same time though, at the same time though, I was like, man, y'all don't got a job or nothing like that. It's just, what are you all doing? <laughs> Cause it's like a work day, you know what I mean? It was a work day. Um, I took that day off. I took a pay cut. I took the day off to try to get something else done for you guys, for the algorithm. So again, leave your boy a like, give me a subscribe um, because, you know, I don't regret it at all. It's um, such a great decision for me. I feel like I leveled up a, a bit as a photographer and um, yeah, guys, super super fun day <laughs> this was nice too um again it would have been a little bit cooler if he was more in the center but again things can be controlling everything out there and you know if something's too perfect it's boring like you need you need something to be a little off to have a little quirk to give um to give the photo kind of your own signature if everything's like perfectly circular you know symmetrical all right um cool but 
you know, real life, there's so many twists and turns up and down. So just capture that, you know, capture the unpredictability, spontaneity, life, which is what photography is all about, you know. So, so many possibilities, so many compositions out there. And here we are, we are exiting the building. Um, you see all these yachts, all these ferries outside uh, because some of these boats are actually gonna take peace, people, passengers to uh, the, the North Bay, the other side of uh, the bay, like Tiburon, Sausalito. And people actually use these uh, to commute, to come to the city as well. See so many people, families, working people, retired people, just enjoying the sun, enjoying the city life. And if you guys are like hesitant about going out and you know sticking out, at the end of the day, nobody really cares um, how you look, what you're doing. I mean, unless you're doing something totally illegal, then yeah, I'd be stressing out too. But I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm not there to hurt anybody. I'm just there to create. And, you know, just if as long as you're in your zone respecting other people, uh, you're just going to blend in because no one's really going to tell you what to do out in San Francisco. I mean, you got people taking things off the shelves of Walgreens <laughs> and no one says anything. Um, you know, that's a whole another conversation in itself. But um, yeah, people just re respect you and what you're doing. Again, as long as you're, you know, staying in your lane, minding your own business, that's fine. Right here, just kind of shooting from the hip. And this is the definition of running and gunning. Uh, I'm not just plant. I'm not really planting my feet, and um, you know, trying to to uh, delay everybody's route. You know, and when I was, you know, um, ten toes down, standing down, I was trying to be quick about it, discreet. I'm sure a lot of people were aware of me out there too, but I was aware of them. I'm, I'm not trying to be that that guy. So I'd feel like if people were kind of catching on to my vibe and feeling a, a bit uncomfortable and they were in my, my shot, I would automatically just try to get some shots of the architecture of the buildings to make it seem like it's not all about them, you know? Which is not. It's just like... It's just the, the composition, you know, if something catches my eye, I'm going to go for the shot. And I think that's what good photography is all about. If you, if you see something, what others cannot see, and you try to take the shot, whether you hit it or not, uh, that's what it's about. Because you're not going to make all of them. You're not going to make all 100 shots, 200 shots you take. But if, the, if there's something that sticks out, that kind of, um, you know, triggers that little feeling inside, I'd say, you know, shoot from the hip, um, plant your feet, stabilize, and, you know, take that shot. So this one's nice. I really like that one all the cherry blossoms in the foreground that's what i wanted to do earlier um back when we we're on the embarcadero center but it didn't turn out the way i wanted it to
And I think this is one of the best shots. It's just that tree it was over there, you know. Again, you can't control everything, guys. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.